So is this what self-righteous liberals mean when they wear those goofy Stronger Together t-shirts? Do we build back better by tearing down our history? Or do we obliterate racism with blatantly racist appeals? When you have an overwhelmingly white teaching force, right? We have a very racially homogeneous teaching force. You inevitably have the reproduction and the dissemination of uh, racism and white supremacy. Schools are just incredibly um, efficient at reproducing racial inequality. Now, Lord only knows how many of our public schools have bought into this new racial spoil system, which is often guided by very handsomely paid diversity consultants. Now, their lesson plans encourage racial introspection, racial thought at all times, not just in history, but in math, grammar, and look, they want you to believe that racism is everywhere in the schools, in society. It's lurking in the science labs near the Bunsen burners and embedded in algebra equations as well. Solve for X? Sounds like coded bigotry to me. So first and foremost, I think it's perfectly clear that Laura Ingram nor anyone at Fox News has any right to talk about hate mongering or the Democrats or the media trying to spread racism and hate because, oh, white people's feelings, of course. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jackson White, co-founder and chief of content at Politoscope, and thank you for tuning in today to TYT. Now, the bigger thing about that is that these are the people who are always whining and crying and complaining about, you know, get out your feelings. You know, you guys are snowflakes. You're always crying and whining. If anybody insults you just a little, and to some degree, you know, well, to a lot of degree, there's truth to that in your everyday life. You can't be fragile. You know, people are going to think what they think about you, and oftentimes, you know, people get used to different types of prejudices and you just got to let it roll off your shoulder. But of course, that's not the attitude that they take in real life and practice, because, look, she made a whole segment about, oh, there's there's something coming out. There's a documentary coming out about white people, oh, because, of course, they are hypocrites, as we all know. The headline right next to her head is saying, blah, 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 challenges white fragility while you're being white and fragile while you're doing the very thing that you're complaining about, of course, because this is what they do. But also what they do is they run entire segments about, ah, the immigrants are coming, the caravans are coming, and they got drugs, and they got smugglers, and they got Antifa, and they have terrorists from the Middle East coming and smuggling up through the Central America and through Mexico, and they're coming in there. We can't, we, we can't have that. We can't let that happen. In fact, we have to ban all Muslims from coming in this country because we just don't know what they're going to do. We don't know if we can trust them. You know, but but of course, see, that that's OK. That's OK. Why? Because it protects white feelings. And if all these viewers who tune into Fox News really didn't care about these things, then why would their entire political agenda be? We can't let critical race theory be taught in elementary schools, even though it's not. But really what that really boils down to is don't don't let our kids know about where we come from. Don't let them know about the history of this country. Don't let them know why, because it protects white feelings, which again, really zeroes in on the whole hypocrisy of this because Laura Ingram once again has lost her damn mind to run a whole segment about this as if she isn't constantly attacking Mexicans and Central Americans in every which way that she can, as if she isn't always attacking anyone who supports Black Lives Matter and, you know, who's mainly in that group of people, you know, other than liberals, you know, black people, of course, but, you know, none of that counts. And we can't let kids learn about slavery. We can't let them learn about segregation. We can't let them learn about institutional racism because it's not real. Because that, that is what, you know, perpetuates the problem. Learning about it, that's what keeps it pushing. Learning about the cancer, that's what keeps it there. These people are ridiculous.